Also, I want to, I want to mention at the very beginning, so I don't forget, that there's a, uh, there seems to be a, a very significant shortage of mezuzahs by the IDF bases. How this has happened, it's not important for now. There's been some lack of care taken over the years, and now the, there's a desperately in need of mezuzahs. So there's a drive that's being run by a very reputable person who I know to collect any extra mezuzahs or old mezuzahs that still might be kosher, but you replace them. And I also would like to have this somebody, maybe just afterwards let me know, like a volunteer from the shul that would sort of coordinate, at least from, from our kahila, to try to get as many mezuzahs as we can from the chavah. They need, they need is, of course, mezuzahs for the mitzvah, and they need mezuzahs for the shmir. <coughs> <coughs> Show me your good news, Mr. Amen. 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 It's very hard for me to talk. I'm going to try, but it's working, yeah? You hear yeah, me? Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, say it. This really would be many, many hours. I'm going to try to compress into a short, into a short sheer, a little bit of the beginning of this very, very deep sugya of Melchama. Of, of Milcham of War. There's a very interesting <coughs> request or request plus prediction of what's going to be in the future we find in the Pasik and Hashaya where the Navi says Uvikshu is Hashem Elokeihem Vezdavid Malakam The Navi is talking about the end of time. And how at the end of time, Vikshu, you shall seek Hashem your God and David your king. Vikshu as Hashem Alakayim, there's David Malcolm. David Malcolm. So Rabbi Yaakov Moshe Chalav Zechat Sadim Kharaz Rocha wrote about this Bikush. You understand to look for Hashem? You mean to look for David Amalekh? So Rabbi Yaakov Moshe Chalab writes, Yisoyed ha'avayda ba'achas ha'yomim, that the Yisoyed of all of our avayda, at the end of time, Sarech liyos b'ikr l'galos is nishmoso ha'gedolo she David ha'amalekh olav ha'shalom. Is to try to be megala, to uncover, to reveal the great soul of David Amalekh. Akol b'china yiseha u'madre goyiseha. All the aspects and the madregas of the soul of David Amalekh to try to understand, to learn this Indian of David Amalekh. Understand David Amalekh. Lis Amek Harbe Bisharish Shal David, to go very deeply to understand the Sharish, the root of David Amalekh, Ul Hizdabek Binishmasa, and to attach ourselves to his soul. And he continues, Bizayam Shikhwalayim. Or a nishmoso. And by us doing that, by our doing that, we are going to be able to draw from his neshama upon ourselves, <coughs> in a very, sometimes in a very open and clear and revealed way, in a way that's more hidden. And the light, as we do this, the light of redemption will become increasingly stronger. On all of its greatness and all of its kedusha, to be mavakesh to try to seek out and to understand the sight of David Hamelach, it's the midah of Malchus based on the midah of Malchus of Malchus based on. There's there's some seats to sit down. Aaron. Yeah, take some. So let's begin with a with a with a very very basic and very important question. Every single day in the evening, in the Shira, <clears throat> we speak of Hashem being an Ish Milchama. Hashem Ish Milchama, Hashem Shema. That Hashem is called a, a man of war, <coughs> Ish Milchama. It's the Mechilta on the Pasik Chazal bring down of Yehuda, Isaiah Mikra. 
there, there are many ways to understand this, and this is found in many places. Magid shenigla lemakash baruch hu b'klei When we were crossing over the Yamsuf, Hashem was revealed as a soldier carrying full arms, full weapons. Completely armed soldier, Klei Zayin. That's how Hashem was revealed prophetically. That's how he revealed himself on Yamsu. Lelem kegibor chagor cherev, like a gibor chagor cherev, with a sword. Shnema Hashem ishmocham, as it says by by Kriyas Yamsu, Hashem ishmocham. Nigla besinai kizokein molei rachemim. But by Harsinai, Hashem made himself known like an old Rebbe, Zokein Moli Rachimim, filled with love and filled with compassion. Hashem Shemo, Hashem Ishmochama, Hashem Shemo, Shum Rachim Al Biyosov, Hashem's name is, we were talking about that before Yotu, Hashem Hashem Karachimacham, Hashem Shemo. So, Hashem Ishmochama. On the one hand, Hashem makes himself known and is revealed as a warrior, as a soldier. And Hashem Shemo means his name, which is Hashem Hashem, Karachim Mechanim, loving, old Rebbe, compassionate, and so on. And the Medrash ends, the, it's the Mechilta ends, Hashem Ishmochama, Hashem Shemo, Bishmohu Nilcham, Hashem fights with his name. That's what we're going to talk about the rest of this year. Hashem is using his name. And he's not using one particular kli. So let's translate this into spheres, which we've been learning about. So Hashem will appear at different times. Hashem will be revealed in different ways. Based upon the sphere that is the sphere that is dominating at that moment. So Hashem Baruch will appear by the Yams of at a time of war, Hashem appears or is revealed as an Ishmulcham. On the other hand, Hashem by Hashina is a Zokin But when the Mechilt Ezin says, that it's Bishmohu Nilcham, Veda Nilcham Be'echad Mikol Hakel. Hashem fights, conducts war according to his name, and he's not Kivyachal bound by one particular persona, one particular way of getting his will accomplished. So sometimes it will be Ish Mulchama, and sometimes it will be Melech Shah Shalom Shalom. Be like peace, peaceful, and so on. Hashem Ish Mulchama, Hashem Shama. Now what Chazal are telling us by this is that, of course, there is no stira between the two. You know, it's between Milchama, war, and Shalom, or Din, and Rachamim, when it comes to a human being, when it comes to a person, generally speaking, there are certain types of individuals that are not going to end up being like generals in the army. They're just not cut out for that. The, the, the Tchunis HaNefesh is that the person is not Be'etzim in Ish Melchama, it's more of a gentle, uh, peaceful type, gentle type. And and then you have another personality where there's a certain tchuna of, <clears throat> of a loichem, of a fighter, a warrior. And with human beings, very often, the mohus of the person is defined by one extreme or another extreme. It's an ish chesed. An ish chesed. The other person's an ish muhammad, is a giver. And we see this even the tzaddikim that had different chunas. Certainly by regular people. Yeah. 
when the Navi said that we we must connect to the Dovna Malach at the end of time, the Midah of Dovna Malach, of course, is Malchus. It's the Midah of Malchus. We'll come back to that much more at the end, the Midah of Malchus. The Soid, Rabbi Yaakov Moshe is talking about the mystery, the secret of this soul of Malchus. Dovna Malach is the embodiment, he's the Merkava in this world of the Midah of Malchus. True Malchus is Malchus based on Everybody else, everybody else is, might, might be take, taking turns occupying the throne, <coughs> but the throne belongs to David Hamelch, because David Hamelch, just like Avinu was Chesed, and Yitzchak Avinu was Gevura, the Merkava, the personification of the Mida of Malchus, of Hashem's Malchus, of that sphere of Malchus in this world. Is David Malkin Mashiach? Is David Amalekin? The Ephraim Gemara says, it's in my cotton, it's in Hedron, it's in the Medrash. The Gemara brings a Pasik that is in Navi that is telling us the names of the Giborim of David Amalekin, his, his leading generals, his military, his. his Closest military people, the Gibarim. It says there, Shmoisa Gibarim Eshela David. These are the Gibarim of David Amalach. And one of them has a name, Adino Ha'etzni. And I'm sure that many of you are familiar with what the Gemara says, you remember. But the Gemara says, Kshahaya David Yoshev Isabatara. That when David HaMelech was sitting in the Bismedrish and learning, words, Adino Ha'etzni is a remez to David himself. The word Adin, Adino, Adin means what? It means edel, gentle, right? So Kishahaya, when David would sit in Bismedrish, he was as soft and as gentle. As a as a talas, as a worm. But when the when it was necessary, and the siren went off, or the call came, so David Melech b'shosh yoytzel l'mochama, hayamak sheatzmo keetz adino, adino haetzni adin, eats two opposites. Adin means something soft and gentle. That's the that's the per- persona of David Melech in Bissam Medrash, Tamuchachem, Sadik, with all of the refinement and edelkeit of such a person. That's how David Melech was Be'etzim, such a person. But when he went out to war, which we would now say more like tough as nails, but he was hard and strong like a tree. Now, Chazal, when they, when they told us this, Chazal were not telling us that Dovod Melech had some split personality, Chas and that Dovod Melech had some, some inner conflict, that there was a part of him that was gentle, and that there was a part of him that was a fierce warrior. Other Abba, what Chazal are revealing to us, what they're speaking about, is that the side of Malchus is, remember that Malchus is the last of all the spheres, and therefore it contains within it the conglomeration, the fusion of all of the colors. Now there's all extremes, all possibilities fused together in the Midah of Malchus. Malchus contains within it Kvura, Strength, courage, to go fight like Dovod Melech did, together with Adinus, Masikus, gentleness, and sweetness. This Mida of Malchus reflects Kivyochel himself. Where Hashem is, on the one hand, Hashem Ish Melchama, is a warrior. Who is revealed carrying grenades and, and Uzis and whatever, 
is necessary to get the job done. That's how Hashem is revealed. Hashem Ishmael Chama. And then there's Hashem Shemar. Hashem, Hashem, Karach, and Mechan. It's an Edelkeit, gentleness, compassionate, and soft, and warm, and so on. <coughs> In the Lashon of Rav Kook. Mukhrach hu hadavr l'shlemus ha-malchus. Malchus means... Being completely, completely surrendering oneself completely to Rotz Nasha. In other words, Rabbi Shalom, Hineni, that's what Malchus is. We'll get that a little bit more in a few minutes. But Dodd Malchus Mida was Malchus, Lace Megame Klum. Dodd Malchus is Rabbi Shalom, Masha Tatsarich. Right now, you're asking me to sit in Miss Medrash and to learn. It's a nice quiet day. Then Dodd Malchus is the, is the, is the Eglat Tzadik sitting in the Besam Medrash. Right now, the call came in. And, it's, and there's a, a need for me to go and fight and to lead the Jewish people to war. There was nobody that as fierce as Dovah Melech. That's the Midah of Malchus. So Rav Kook says, It must be, when it comes to this, when it comes to this, the Shlemus of Malchus, when it comes to this, Shall nefesh hamelach, the soul of the king, true malchus is David Malach. none of the impostors, none of the substitutes, David Malach. <coughs> David Malach, Rav Kook says, she nimtzim bo kol hakoyches anavshim. David Malach, like the last sphere, that is the receptacle of all that took place in the higher spheres, from Kesser all the way down to Chacham Bina Das Chesed Yis Chesed. Uh, Rav Kook says, All the Koiches and Nafshim are found in this. In this great treasury that's called what? Nefesh HaMelech. The soul of the king. The soul of Dovna Melech. In Shari Oyrim. Which is where, which is our one of our most important sources of understanding the spheres. Which means when we get back to the safe, we're going to be working on a lot. Shari Aris says, Ulafamim, Nikra Shem Adnus. Now, the name Aleph Dalad Nun Yud Adnus is a code word for Malchus. It means the meat of Malchus. Aleph Dalad Nun Yud. So Shari Aris says, Ulafamim, Nikra Shem Adnus, Bikinui Kol. We'll find in Tanakh, and the Shari brings many, many examples. Where the Midah of Malchus is encoded in the word Chaf Lamed Kol. Kol means Hakal. Everything together. Why? Again, listen to the words. Why? Shariar explains why, why the Midah of Malchus is called Kol. Because nothing is missing. It's not like a person who is an Ishmael Chama, but he's lacking a certain <clears throat> kindness and gentleness. Or somebody who's very, very gentle and kind, but he's lacking a certain stolz. It's not like that with Hashem. It's not like that with David Amalek. The Midah Malchus is, All of the spheres stream in the most elegant and balanced and beautiful way, into David and Malchus, into the Midah of Malchus. That's why it's called Kol. <coughs> and it's clear that Rav Kook was, was drawing from this sentence, from this Mahalach of the, of the Shari Ayur. And that's why we're looking forward with great hope and expectation very soon to see Malach and Mashiach. And <coughs> regarding Mashiach, the Navi Yishaya <coughs> describes... The Novi describes Mashiach. These are the qualifications, the characteristics of Mashiach. This is what's on his resume. The Nachal of Ruach Hashem, Ruach Chachmo Bina, Ruach Eitzog Vur, Ruach Das Vios Hashem, which really includes all the spheres. So Melech HaMashiach has, as the, as the king, as the embodiment of Malchus, 
of it, Malki Mashiach, all of the spheres, Menach Alav, all of that. And then, why do you have to now listen to this sentence? I mean, you know it. Let's say afterwards, Vihika Eretz B'Shevet Piv. He's going to come and he's going to give a patch. Vihika Eretz B'Shevet Piv. With, the, with his mouth. Ubaruach Svasov, Yomis Russia. He's not going to have to, like Rabbi Nachman, he's not going to have to even pick up a weapon. Ruach, with, with, Ubaruach Svasov, with his lips, with his mouth, with what he says. Yomis Russia, he's going to wipe out the Rishon. That's Mashiach. Tzedek, Emuna. But, Melech Mashiach is a warrior. Has that quality of being Vihik Eretz B'Shevet Piv? Just like a Kajabur, who on the one hand is Melech Shah Shalom Shalom. Baruch Shalom is peace. Everything, Melech Shah Shalom Shalom. Hashem Hashem Karachim Bacharim. On the other hand, Hashem Ishmucha. So therefore, we find in many places in Tanakh, I'll just mention a few that are familiar to you. Hashem Kibyachl is described as coming back from destroying her enemies, and his coat, his, his, his clothing, is saturated with blood. The end of Torah. That Kidam Avad of Yikam, the last thing that Hashem basically lives over to Moshe Benu is that I mentioned in the Hanyantiv, that Hashem is going to is going to avenge the Nakam Yoshi Litzarov. He's going to take revenge against our enemies, his enemies or our enemies, same thing. Kel Dovna Malch asked, Kel Nakamas Hashem. You'll have to give a separate sheet just on the Indian Nakama. We'll talk about that separately, a whole separate sheet on the Indian of what is what is what, what is revenge in Tyra. Kel Nekomis Hashem, which in the world is a very, very dirty word, except when it comes to being used against Jews. <laughs> but Kel Nekomis Hashem, Kel, don't not say Kel Nekomis Hashem, Kel Nekomis Haifia. Don Melch is, is trying to awaken Kivyoch and to draw into the world Kel Nekomis. Now, Aleph Lam is the name of Chesed. Nekomis means Nekomis, revenge. Kel Nekomis Hashem, Kel Nekomis, Harshev Gmul Al Gain. Don Melch is saying, Hashem, kel nukamas, give back to those conceded, to the ones who are hoarding, meaning the enemies. Hashem, kumal okay, give them back what they deserve. So on the one hand, Hashem, oiz la moitain, there's all we're for. We're asking Hashem, give strength and courage to your people. Hashem, yivarach hasam v'shom. The ultimate tachlis of all of this is, is that there should be shom. Now the shmoi shlach adish baruch, Hashem yish mochama, Hashem Shema. Now we learned that the Mechutna says that 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 Hashem is Baruch runs this world, runs the world in such a way. Not with one of the spheres, but with all of the spheres combined together. Meaning, Hashem Malchus. Malchus is sometimes revealed in a way of war, and the Malchus of Hashem is primarily. And 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 tachlis of the malchus of Hashem and the tal- the tachlis of Am Yisrael, which any sane person who's not an anti semite understands that the tachlis of Am Yisrael is shalom, is a hava is shalom. But in order to come to that tachlis being revealed of a Hashem l'melch hakolach b'im Hashem yachad shmechad and the guys even kevis, which should be the time that the world would be filled with peace, it's necessary. The Hishbati Chayirah Menorahs. The Chayirah has to be removed from the, from the land. The Chayirah, whether it's with four legs or whether it's with two legs. The Hishbati Chayirah Menorahs. It's necessary to remove the Chalarisha Ke'oshan Techlo, Be'oshan Ke'oshan Techlo. It has to be destroyed. And the Tachlis of all of that warfare, which we're learning about, we started learning about a little bit in the Urs. Hamulchama Rav Kook in the Friday morning uh, eight o'clock Chabura, which we're going to continue. It's very much connected to what we're learning right now. Where we look in the early days of our people, when you when you learn Tanakh, I'm not talking about fancy with the Malbim and with the Barbanel. Just read Tanakh. War. It's a lot of wars, a lot of fighting, and they seem to have occupied a major part 
of the lives of our ancestors. Mulham. The end of all of that is to come to what the Navi says. The Navi says, Lo yisa goyel goycher, lo yim doad mulchama. The lo yim doad mulcham. The tachlis of, of the mulchamas of Hashem is to come to a, a place of lo yisa goyel goycher. You see, there's a very big difference. My wife mentioned this to me. We we're just talking now, and my wife mentioned she mentioned to me that that Hamas yimach shemam. Besides, that their name means their name Hamas means violence. On their flag, they have swords. I don't. I don't. I, I never saw their flag. But they have their symbol is a symbol of two swords. Yes. My wife looked it up. It's a symbol of two swords. It's one thing to need a sword. <coughs> At times, Hashem is Mucham. And therefore, by Kriyas Yamsuf, Hashem took out his sword. And Dovna Malach, there were times in Dovna Malach's life where he had to take out his sword. The, but the, the Tachlis is not, that's not the ideal. That's not what you hang up on your wall. That's not what you put on your flag. That's not what you advertise. That's not what you. That's not what you. You look up to as being as being an ideal in life. It's a. It's a very very tragic necessity. To bring to the final tachlis, but the final tachlis is. Lo Will no longer be necessary, to carry weapons and to and to and to and to uh, and, to, uh, and to, to have war. Therefore, we find an amazing thing. When a person understands that this suk, this 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 yesod of Hashem ish melchama, Hashem shemo, and we're talking about gili malchus Hashem, and malchus means the integration of all spheres, each one according to what's necessary at the time. But Hashem's name is higher than all of that. Then we could also understand, for instance, in Pasha Shaifa. So there was this fascinating uh, Jew, the Kayin of Shoch There was this Kayin that was basically basically giving a chizik to the army as it was going out to war. That was one of his jobs. So the Rambam and the Eloi says, there's no ches and sefer mitzvahs. And in the mitzvah, and the, in the mitzvah say also, Meshuch Mechama, to, to, to warn those people who should not go out to war, because for different various reasons, they shouldn't go out to war, and uh, there shouldn't be a person who's frightened and will turn back because that's going to discourage the rest of the chaber. So this this kain meshul mochama was was giving this powerful pep talk to the to the to the yoyt say and he would scream out to all the soldiers, Shema Yisrael, Atem crave my yom lemochama leveichem. Okay, guys, you're going out to war. Today I had the schus to speak to six, six uh, American guys that were heading out to Aza. Okay, Hashem should watch over them. The Koy would say to them, "Atem krev ma yom lemochem loyveichem al yeruch levavchem al tiru v'al techlus v'al teatz." Don't be terrified. Don't be frightened. Ib neim ke Hashem lo kechem al holechim lachem lihilachim lachem imoyveichem loishias. So who's this Koy Mishia? He was from Rocky. <laughs> you heard of him? <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't Rocky. I was. I was a rabbi in high school when he was. That's not from my time. But I was a rabbi in high school when he was very popular, because because I went with the guys. We took a trip. I took the, They finished. We finished the, the Masech, and I took the guys to go to um, Philadelphia. Went for a day with my, with my class. Went to Philadelphia. I had twelfth grade boys. Went to Philadelphia, and and like they couldn't figure like why would anybody want to see a broken bell. <laughs> but we came to a place where the, where it was the steps where Rocky was, where Rocky was on. Uh, I don't know in the movie he was. I guess he he went over there by those steps, and every single one of the guys went crazy singing, and they all went up and down. And I was trying to teach them like a little patriotism, you know. It took a day in Philadelphia, but they just wanted Rocky. <laughs> so the Melech Meshul Muhammad We're not talking about some. We're not talking about some some Rocky that gets up there and says. You know, like before the, the the ball game, I put their hands in the middle by the coach, and everybody screams, and then they start pounding each other. All the gorillas start hitting each other's chests, and they start going crazy. And, uh, that, that, <clears throat> that, that's not that. We're talking about Koy, Khanabli. Who's a Koy? He was the same Jew that morning, by Dukhaning. He says, We are some Hashalom, we are some Hashalom. I shake each other's first of all. The Varkas army is well, be a Hava, be a Hava. We're talking about an Enochal from Aaron Akoy. And the Aaron is the whole Indian of Aaron is a Hava. 
It's all a hava. <clears throat> so this coin, Mashiach Muhammad, he was the one that was giving the peplo. It's a, it's a, it's not a stira. When there's a gilu of that midah of malchus, so it's not a stira at all. The whole concept of of has the yeshiva, which for Baron Lichtenstein, Shach Shalik wrote a very important uh, Torah mimer on that, and there are other there are others that wrote uh, about the whole yisod of uh, the, that chiddush of has the yeshiva, where there's a guy that that sits and learns, and he's also in the army. It's this duchin of avikshuas Hashem elokeim as David Hamalka, as David Malcolm. So the same David Hamalach, who when we say Tilim, throughout Tilim is in Psalm and Avshi lelukim kelchai. David Hamalach is in love with the Kashbaruch. The same David Hamalach mentioned says in the in in Yudches, which I mentioned the other day. Er doif oivai vasiga. So in the morning, Don Melch is sitting in the mikveh and Tehillim. It must be it's when Don Melch was saying Tehillim, right? So, <laughs> what if he had like a linear translation? So Don Melch is saying Tehillim. <clears throat> Don Melch, mikveh, Tehillim, davening, everything. Don Melch, and that's Seder learning. And then, and then one of his generals, one of the Gibori, David, looks through the window and, and nods his head. And then Don Melch like, pulls out from under his coat. That's Don Melch. Pasuk says, I will pursue my enemy until I catch up to him. <coughs> I've been mentioning this Pasuk a lot lately. And I will not return, I will not return until every single Hamas is killed. That's the Ad I will not come back until the early destroyed he goes on. He's not done. <laughs> I will crush. I will crush them, and they will not be able to stand up. Remember, the union of the Peradim is Bekum Aleinu Adam. We learned it yesterday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, on Sunday. Bekum Aleinu Adam. That's the Peradim. Dornach says, I'm going to crush the Hamas. <laughs> so he'll never be able to stand up. To get rise up uh, over us again. Yiplu tachas raglai. They're going to fall under my feet. Ve'eshchokem ke'ofar. I will grind them. This, this doesn't sound like he's like a... It doesn't sound like the Chavaz Chaim, no? Ve'eshchokem ke'ofar al pnei ruach. I will grind the enemy like dirt that's scattered in the wind. Hakela noisi nekomasli, Dormel says, the God who gave me this responsibility to take revenge, mefalti mi oivai, who rescues me from my enemies, ach min komai to Rabbi Meni, who, who rescues me from all those who rise up against me, and then the last three words, mi ish chomas tatsileni, Penny pointed that out the other day, at the end of the capital it says, mi ish chomas, from Hamas. Mi'ish Hamas, from the violent enemy, Tatsilein. Magdal Yeshua is Malkai, as the Mila Malchus. Hashem makes great and magnifies the Yeshua's of his Melech. Magdal Yeshua is Malkai. Or he says, Chesed le Meshicho, le Dovid le Zara ad Oil. That's the place, that's where it comes from. Magdal Yeshua is Malkai, or he says, Chesed le Meshicho, le Dovid le Zara ad Oil. So what we're going through right now, and I just wanted to touch upon this tonight. Every single time that we say Elena when we leave shul, before we leave shul, we're putting everything together. Remember that was Yeshua by Kibbutz Arts. Elena, he was Masakin Elena, by the conquest of the land. The whole tachlis of everything is to come to that one, the kudah of the Sakin Oilam B'Malchus Shindaladu. And therefore, it's very, very important that our soldiers are trained in such a way, and this is how they are trained. They're trained in the way of Davin Amalek, never ever to be Messiah Das, 
from the ultimate tachlis, that the that the premiums of milchama is not is not an, uh, is not human strength, but it's malchus Hashem and it's milchemas Hashem, as it says in the pasuk, the koim nikmas bnei Yisrael meis hamidyanim. Hashem says that the kama will be taken from the midyanim. The kama will be taken the kama to avenge the honor of bnei Yisrael, and then. To take to uh, uh, appoint people for the army. So one pasuk says Nikmas Yisrael mi Midian. As when Hashem is speaking, so Hashem says Nikmas Yisrael. That Hashem is taking revenge for what happened to His people. And when Moshe Rabbeinu gives it over, He says Nikmas Hashem mi Midian, because when Jews are being hurt. When Jews are being killed, when Jews are being mutilated, when Jews are being decapitated, <clears throat> that's a war against the Kaddish Baruch. So Hashem is Baruch, it's like Anil Doidi Vidoidi Li, like the Bedichiva says, Chagamasas, Chagapesa. So Hashem is Baruch calls the war, calls war Nikmas Yisrael. And we call the war Nikmas Hashem. Nikmas Hashem. But the come. But our main our main objective is the sakin oil of Machu Shindal Yud. Nikmas Hashem Yimidyan. And Davka, those great Nishamas of the early years of our people, such as Dabar Malach and Shaul Hamalach, and other and all the other tzaddikim there, the Shoftim. And Melachim, we have a very hard time understanding these people. When we read Sefer Yeshua, it's hard to understand the greatness of these people. But these, these were all exalted, very, very exalted Nishamas. Very high Nishamas. Rav Cook speaks about this. We're going to learn it in Mitzvah on Friday morning. This is Sif Beis in the, in the, in the Arisam Melachama. Who <clears throat> had the koach to continue fighting for that ultimate goal of Vahaya Shalomel Hakalaris, the Sakin Oilum Mamachu Shindal Adyud. And when we say the words Dovid Melch Yisrael Chai Vikayim, we, we're saying that Dovid Melch, this Mahalach of Dovid Melch, is Chai Vikayim. Even now, it's Chai Vikayim. The same tzaddik who's described as being Admonim Yifei Nine, that he had red hair and a red beard, which is the color of Esav. The warrior, Admani, the hunter, in your feinaim, or the beautiful eyes. And the Gemara says, Mida Sanhedrin, who hoireg. Don Malch was a killer. But Mida Sanhedrin, he did everything according to Allah. His words was Mida Sanhedrin. That's everything was Mida Sanhedrin. Now we can understand, just to finish, now we can understand that. This is the Midah of Malchus. The Leisle Megame Klum. Remember, we spoke about this a few weeks ago, that the Midah of Malchus is humility. And humility, as we're learning from Dovid does not mean you're a shmata. The Jewish people are exceedingly humble, but we're not shmatas. Dovid HaMelech was the Kalesi Oid Mizois, Mesi Shofu Benai. Dovid HaMelech was so humble that even though he was king, he went to jump and dance. I spoke about Simchas Tarim. Night. He was jumping and dancing in front of the oven because I see shuffle bed, can always oid me eyes because I'm nobody, I'm nothing. All I am is a receptacle for Hashem's light, like the moon. His Levana is Malchus. That's why we, we say when we bench the moon, when we bench Kiddush Levana, we say, Dodom Melch Sochavikai, by the moon. Because Dodom Melch's mead is Malchus, and the moon, just like the moon, has, doesn't have any light of its own, only what it receives from the sun. Dodom Melch's mead is coal. Malchus has into the letters coal. And the mead, the Actually, I said kol and mavis. The midah of David and is kol. And kol, the midah of kol means that David and is saying, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, every single minute of his life, Zalani. It's not me. Like I was talking about Hillel Azokin by the Simchas Beis HaShoev, it seems like it was a year ago, in the Sukkah, where Hillel said, Emanikan HaKol Kan, Emanikan Mikan, 
And Rashi says he's talking about the Shechina. Hillel was a descendant of David the Melech, right? So this Midah of Malchus is, if the Shechina is, if Ani Kan Hakol Kan, Hakol, Ani Hakol. Ani means, which is another word, as the Shari Arit calls, Ani is another word, Ani Mishnah, Ani Yachon is the Midah of Malchus. If Ani Kan Hakol Kan, Hakol means the Midah of Malchus, because Malchus is what? Lais Lehmi Gamei Klum. Don't Melech said, Zelo Ani. Ani, my Ani, is Ani Hashem. Zelo Ani. It's Ani Hashem. And therefore, Don Malchus was a kli, a receptacle, which the word Malchus also has the lotion of kli in it. The David Hamalch is a kli for hakol <coughs> to receive the Ratzon Hashem. That at every moment of his life, the tachlis of David Hamalch was just to do the Ratzon Hashem. He himself, personally, he preferred to ha- to have a nice, quiet, peaceful life and to be in, to be in the base medrash. He wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't seeking. He wasn't interested in going, running out, and going and going to the front. Dolmach preferred being, being, uh, being at home and being in his medrash. That was Dolmach. He was ma'adin atzmo. He was ma'adin. So ketelas, ketelas. But in this ongoing war, from the beginning of time, against against vicious, against evil, and they explained on Shabbos, when I was, uh, by the drush in the morning. When we're holding, we're at a place now where, where it's an oilam boru, an oilam boru, where it's clear. Again, it's not clear to our enemies. It will be clarified to them, but it's clear to us and to and more clear to, to the Jewish people than any than ever before, maybe since the time of the Muhammad, the Muhammad, since the Holocaust, that there's good and there's bad. There's good and there's evil. There's right and there's wrong. The fact that you already have all kinds of confusion about that is the world is is on the threshold of this B war between Tov and Ra. And those who will sign up for the good side will have a happy ending. And those who will sign up with the protesters. What are they protesting about? What, are, what exactly are they protesting about? They're angry that we're we're upset. <laughs> they're angry that we're that we're, that we're fighting back. I guess. But whatever it is that they're angry about, all the nevuas, all the nevuas of the end of time, <clears throat> are going to be mekuyim in a very very clear way. This is the time that we're living in of this beer, of this clarification, of David Melchizedek Chavikain. So we are going to try. To do our best to say to him, and to try to understand this Midah of Malchus and to learn and to, and to everybody should try at least begin with your capital. Everybody in this this medrash has a capital, right? If you're if you're 31 years old, your your capital is Lamed Beis. <clears throat> if you're 32, your capital is Lamed Gimel. Everybody should try to begin with to every day to say your your <coughs> capital to him, besides any other capital you say, and to begin to to begin to learn carefully to start to learn to him. It doesn't mean you have to now all of a sudden find where's there going to be a shear until not that you just take out your own tale of the Mepharshim, Mikos Kedalos, and begin with your capital and to learn to learn your capital because the strength that you have and the meter that you need to connect to most deeply during that year of your life is found in that capital. And to learn that capital and to strengthen the, the meat of Malchus by our saying Telem and by our connecting to Davim Malch, the more capital Telem we say. Even though it, 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 after some time it begins to feel like we're just saying nachah kibbutz, nachah kibbutz, but all these kibbutz are 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 adding strength to the malchus of our soldiers who are fighting. Baad amenu or baad areil kainu. We should be zeichem as Hashem to see with our own eyes the gilu of the malchus sheicha and malchus and mashiach. We have you amen amen. Amen. Myra. Myra. Yeah. Rabbi, you want to volunteer? Is this? Terrific. I'm looking to it.